deserving of whatever they achieve on that night but it's more about what they can achieve and put together leading up to that at least my opinion i know i'm speaking on behalf of them but i know anyone yeah at least in my crew would, would attest to that as well
how do you deal with that? Or is it kind of just like you, you, you want to show the way by leading the way? That's the way, man. And it, and it, it makes me better man, as a coach, as a person. And I can't try and stall those sort of lessons if, if I'm not willing to do them as well. When I speak to an athlete, yeah, I want to know that I'm speaking from a, a point of view of experience, man, and a real perception for the things. It's no secret that I've always struggled with competing. Um, I'm still fairly young, not as young as I used to be, but um, I think I come from an era where guys were so risk adverse. And I don't know why. Um, we had small pools then, and it's a different world, different era of black belts now, I think. And the guys in this group are willing to step up. We have against each other, a lot of us. Me so less, I've been very intermittent, but it's been more about the academy, man. Like, I like to compete, and like I say, like, the byproducts of what happens, let alone the comp. My, my guys know what I'm about. Anyone who wants to roll me can, and anyone who wants to talk shit, I'm good at that as well, so I don't mind, man. Um, so yeah, just everyone should fucking step in, and even if it's just once. Like I said, uh, I know that my what I give to Jiu-Jitsu is more as a coach, but I like to do this for me every now and then, and I think they know what that's about as well.